We are opening up a Vietnamese restaurant, Jonathan. Well, why? Huh? We, have no, we have no interest in that. I like Vietnamese food, but I'm not Vietnamese. It's North called it's Vietnam. it's called the Lucky Dragon. Yeah. Jonathan Holmes is Vietnamese Viet Cong food. Food is in. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it says Lucky Dragon Vietnamese food. Eat it. <laughs> no one would go to that place. They wouldn't. They what? Didn't go- no, they right. Wouldn't. There would be um, just so that they know it is Vietnamese. There are movie posters for Jacob's Ladder in the window. The movie with Tim Robbins. Yeah. Okay. Just like pictures, like inside the restaurant is just tons of pictures of Tim Robbins, like screaming and looking frightened. Oh no! <laughs> like lying on the floor, dying, staring at someone's head while it's wobbling about the place a bit. That's that. Like, there's a TV in the corner, and it's always playing Jacob's Ladder. It's not as feel bad as, uh, let's say, Racerhead, but it's in the same ballpark. It's in the same genre. So you're okay. saying we should we should like for a bit of variety also play a Razorhead on the TV? <laughs> we can do that. So yeah, we'll play um, uh, Jacob's Ladder, Eraserhead, uh, a bit of Full Metal Jacket, just the bit where the fat man shotguns the. Uh, racist drill instructor uh, just that bit on a loop over and over and over again then it's just like full metal jacket and the other guy's like you stupid fat man give me that gun and stop being a stupid idiot about it don't shoot me now kaboom and that just loops over and over again in the restaurant in the Vietnamese restaurant official authentic Vietnamese cuisine cooked by the karate master Jonathan Holmes. <laughs> That's really... They would be... It's not racist, but it is racially insensitive and uh, potentially... How is, it, how is it racially insensitive? You are karate master Jonathan Holmes, right? In the kitchen, and they can see through the window at the kitchen because people want to look at you while you're cooking. You're wearing a karate gi. Mm. Is that what they're called? Yes. A karate gi, black belt, so that they know you mean business. Uh, one of those um, hats, like Raiden has in Mortal Kombat. Uh-huh. That'll do. No. no, those don't match. And, or... and when we, they take an order, you say, watch me use karate to cook. And you like get the carrots and you start chopping at them with your hand, doing karate chops. Ouch. On them. Uh, and you put those like once because they're using your karate skills, which obviously you are a, you've got a PhD in karate. Uh, you finally chop the carrots with your hands using uh, deft karate chops. You're not even touching the carrot, I don't think. It's just like the the pointed gusts of air are so precise. You're cutting through, and this is what you're telling everyone. You're just saying, "Watch me do karate and cook a food." Uh, I am using air from my hand flaps. To cut this carrot into fucking slices. I don't have that kind of power. And you, well... People can't do that. It, it's all sleight of hand. Karate is no different from any other kind of magic trick. Uh, you know, David Blaine does karate all the time, but he doesn't know how to do it. It's just tricks of the eye. So you just, like, chop... If you If you chop at that carrot believingly enough, they will think it's been finely sliced. Well, why don't dumping just, a whole carrot. Well, why, why don't we just like put a razor blade along the bottom of Holmes' hand? I like what you're thinking. Mm. How There's about that. how about we get some duct tape, right? And duct tape two big kitchen knives to the inside palm of your hands, so that when you're just like chopping down, yeah, 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 like that, you're just chopping all the onions and carrots. And, and what we, me and Conrad can do is get onions and throw them really hard at you like baseballs and you just slice them in the air going, here, here, Vietnam, here, and cut the onions up. I like, said, we're really uh, aiming them at your, like, face. Because, <laughs> and you do that thing, you say, in ancient Vietnam minor, ancient Japanese karate masters like me would catch bullets in the air. 
Fortunately, the days of guns are long since past with the era of the Shogun and the Samurai. But I can still catch an onion and do a chopping of it. Watch as Conrad and Conrad San and Jim San uh, throw onions at my stupid face. And I will put my hand in front of my face and the onion will be cleft in twain. And each slice of the onion will fly past my head and land in the two frying pans. Sorry, the two woks behind me. Uh, they are just frying pans, but we're calling them woks to make it sound authentic. People don't know the difference. And at that point, you close your eyes and go, Ha! Karate! Vietnam! Kim Jong-il! And you raise, no. and me and Conrad take turns to like really like we're really like like whipping our wrists as we throw them, just whipping onions at your face, and you're going ha 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 karate karate South Korea like that. That's they be <laughs> they wouldn't. How would they be offended when you are dazzling them with an array of of deft hand moves and karate chops? Like, here's what, you've got kitchen knives duct taped to your hands, right? You're raising them in the air above your face as we're lobbing onions at you. And you are using the skills of karate, judo chopping the onions so that they fly off in half and just whiz past your ears into the two uh, frying woks behind you. So when you lump all Asian cultures together into one culture and just use them interchangeably. Um, it speaks to the fact that... I am that just talking about Vietnam. The karate? A, a raided hat? You, whoa! Were you saying Vietnamese right. people can't do karate? I, I'm, karate is a Japanese uh, practice. Oh, oh Japanese so only word. Japanese people can use it? No, it's just... There's is that nothing... we, I'm detecting a bit of a prejudiced tone from you, Jonathan Holmes. You are? What do you mean? Well, you're telling me that Vietnamese people can't do karate, they can't wear it, Raiden hats? I'm not saying they can't, I'm saying to lump those all into the same Vietnamese culture uh, soup, if you will, is uh, sort of. Potentially, it's not racist. It's this, not racist. It is potentially... If anything, this shows deference to Vietnamese culture. Your culture, the culture of your people, Jonathan. I'm not Vietnamese either. Don't go fucking saying it. <laughs> That's half our marketing budget is going into telling people that you're Vietnamese. They'll never believe it because... Well, I, I focus tested all this information in Mississippi, where I am, and they didn't cotton on to anything. They didn't pick it up. I said, look at this picture of my friend Jonathan Holmes. He's from Vietnam. And most of the people around here in Mississippi said, well, he should fuck off back to Vietnam. So they believe it. <laughs> that is a new one. Uh, I've been mistaken to have many different racial backgrounds, but uh, Vietnamese never happened. No. It's, so believable. it's believable. So long as you keep saying karate. I will tell you a brief aside. Don't. Oh, come on. It's, it, well, you'll like this. It's very validating. All right. Well, I'm not done with the... I know. I know you're not. <laughs> I never thought you would be. A woman, uh, she was a psychiatric patient. I really... Yeah, she was there for months, so we got to know each other pretty well. I got to know her more than she got to know me, because I don't talk about myself at work. But still, we got a sense of each other's characters. And she was sure um, my name was Schnook. <laughs> and that I had been her landlord, who was um, uh, from Cambodia. She was, she spoke Khmer. She was from Cambodia. She was like, "Hey, Schnook," and I'm like, "Hi, name's not Schnook." She's like, ah, ha, ha, "I know you, Schnook." And uh, long story short, she thought I was Cambodian. So maybe you're on to something. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Very no, interesting. Yeah. So anyway, you get the tortillas. What? And you're scooping all the ground beef and the onions that you've um, made yourself using your karate knife hands. Ground beef? Making a, you're making a tasty Vietnamese quesadilla. That's not a thing. And while that's flash frying, 
um, me and Jonathan, um, sorry, me and Conrad run at you with our fingers. Like we put our fists to the side of our heads and pointed our index fingers up so they look like horns. And we start rubbing our feet on the ground. And you, Jonathan, get a, a red uh, blanket and start going, ole, ole, Vietnamese bullfighting, while we run at you, going, da na 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 this is all behind the scenes in the kitchen? This is all in the kitchen, but there's a big window so that the people can watch oh. their food. It's it's kind of blending in Vietnamese hibachi. So they can uh, see the food being cooked. But it's not quite hibachi because they're not all sat around a table watching. This is a takeout place. They're looking through a window at the kitchen. And you're there waving this big red blanket around their open flames while we're cooking. It's going to be great. Uh, uh, <laughs> you look at the... You look at the, the audience, because that's what they are at this point. They're an audience. They're customers waiting for food, and they're an audience, captive audience. Mm. And you shout at them. You shout, hey, who's fucking seen Big Trouble in Little China? <laughs> and, you know, some of them might say yes. You Why say, am I swearing? Why would I do that? And you say, look what I can do. <laughs> and... And then we've got some, like, uh, Vietnamese spaghetti being cooked up in a boiling uh, pot of water. And that's when you pull the taser out of your pocket and say, I have, electri- <laughs> I have electric powers like Big Trouble in Little China. And you shoot the taser into the uh, boiling pot of pasta. I, how do I do that? What do I... What? You just get a taser. You know what a taser is, right? A, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is. Aim that into the boiling water and press it, and then, if my calculations are correct, a stunning electric light show will appear. (laughs) I will get hurt, probably, again. Uh, Not really, because of your uh, skills. (laughs) What skill is that? Big Trouble in Little China. (laughs) It's a classic of Vietnamese cinema. It, uh, it has, I think, a Vietnamese actor in it. There you go! That's one. Yeah, he doesn't this play is a strong move. This is because... The... Huh? Jonathan everybody... Holmes' Lucky Dragon is going to take right off. It's, it's, people, you're sadly right. right? Uh, check, out the, check out the menu, right? Mm. Authentic Vietnamese quesadilla. Right? <laughs> Noodles. How's that spelled? With a lot of O's. Uh, we won't tell them it's ramen. American style Vietnamese ham de burger. Hand burger? Ham de burger. Hand burger. Paschetti with meatball. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Vietnamese paschetti with Vietnamese meatball. Vietnam meatball. That's a that's another meal on its own. Vietnam meatballs. Uh, it sounds it's meatballs served on a copy of Apocalypse Now, just on on the disc. And the idea is you're supposed to pick the disc up and push the meatballs through the little hole in the middle of the DVD uh, disc, and just push it so it comes out like a meaty worm into your mouth. And you say, I am Vietnamese, I am Vietnamese, while you eat it. Really loudly. While walking through Chinatown. It it, it could. You could try to sell it as a fusion. Fusion. Vietnamese French bread. (laughs) With full of guacamole. And sushi. It could be fusion taste. It could be a hot, trendy new. We're fusion taste. Girl. We're the next level. level fusion of taste. It could this be. This isn't Dragon Ball Z. That's Japanese. You fucking racist. Uh, I'm not saying it's uh, like a super Saiyan fusion. I'm saying that you can combine different foods together, like jazz fusion. You know, it's like that, except for spaghetti yeah. and tacos. And whatever you say. Action figures of Goku covered in meat sauce. Lick it off, free toy. Vietnamese style. Uh, uh, uh. Flash fried fish full of licorice. 
What? Gross. That's just gross. It's not. It was. How is that gross? Uh, Do you like fish? Uh, sometimes. Do you More like Bassett's box. brand licorice? All sorts. We're trying to get sponsorship for that. Bassett's brand? Mm. Yo, I don't like licorice. I don't. Do you monster. <laughs> it's fish on its own isn't that good. Unless it's strawberry licorice. Mm. Uh, that like Twizzler? Like strawberry bootlaces. Oh, yeah, those are okay. All right, well, we'll stuff the fish full of that. That's a little better. Still gross. Strawberry bootlace fish. Brackets Vietnamese style. It's not, it's not good. What do you want to say? Fish and chips. About it. Vietnamese style. That's <laughs> not, that's just British. Everyone knows that. Come on, everyone knows that. Iced tea. When can we stop talking about it? Shrimp Sorry. fried beef brisket. I think I don't even know what that means. It's and like... lots of beans. <laughs> Vietnamese style? Vietnamese style. I've never seen a Vietnamese bean. It's possible, it's possible. But I've never seen it's, it. It's, it's like regular beans, except you are holding it, Jonathan, saying, um, I am from North Korea. <laughs> That's Vietnamese style bean. That is not. They're different. Vietnam, Korea. Yeah. And China. With that concept thoroughly tapped out, mm. it's time mm. to move up. <laughs> you decided. <laughs>